Hello, I'm Dr. Manon Boliger, and I'd like to welcome you to Bowen College, the workshop, the introductory workshop on the Bowen First Method, Reboot Your Body. So I want to start with giving you a little overview of what we'll be covering. First of all, what Bowen First Therapy is and its therapeutic benefits a little bit of history of the origins of this um, Bowen technique, how Bowen first works, as well as why you should study with Bowen College, testimonials on the technique, and also research. So what I believe students need to know, first of all, about patients or clients is that most patients have pain and it demands their full attention. I've been in practice for 23 years at this point and I have found that if you cannot find an effective way to deal with patients pain they really lose interest. They're going to look elsewhere for something to alleviate or relieve their their pain and as a naturopathic doctor, I can't get to the next step about their health without first dealing with their pain. And there are so many people in the world suffering from pain that to have such a gentle and effective technique is a huge asset to, to your practice. So what you need to know about patients is that their pain demands their full attention. And they are not interested in any other part of their health until you get them out of pain. And most patients, even if they're not in pain, actually want a physical therapy. So there's a lot of um, talk therapy, but to be touched in our society is, you know, is quite unusual in a therapeutic way. So um, a lot of people crave that contact and see that way as a way of, of starting their healing process. And the other thing most patients need are immediate results to gain your trust as a practitioner and also to gain their own trust in the healing process. So what do st students need to know about healing? Well, first of all, that rebooting the body is one of the most transformational approaches to healing. That rebooting the body happens within a context, as in a framework which positions patients to initiate healing. And rebooting the body is what happens when an, an aligned health professional introduces Bowen first to the healing equation. The way I see it is that healing, in fact, is a contact sport. Why? Because contact, because healing is always in relation to another, whether it be what people call source, God, a partner, an aligned health professional. But when we say self-healing, you know, we, in a sense, it's sort of a myth because it's only in relation to another that we can even see where we've come from and where we're going. So there's, it's a, it requires a contact and sport because it also requires the patient to be their personal best, to make a choice, make a commitment, and take responsibility to be part of a team. In other words, um, when we're looking at, at healing in the sort of Western uh, paradigm, there's often an abdication of of um, responsibility. We go to see a doctor, we receive a prescription, we follow, but we're not really part of the process. And all the research and studies are showing that healing is a participatory event. So we need to be part of it as a patient and also 
if you're you're with an aligned practitioner who encourages you and is part of your empowerment team then uh, incredible healing takes place so when we practice Bowen first we we are aware of this context of healing which is which is very important so Bowen first is one of the most effective ways to gain your patients commitment to their health and with results we build trust and patients become open and aligned to their healing process now the reason I say this is because I've been in practice now so long and I've seen so many you know patients come in having done different things and and many methods work I'm not at all suggesting that this is the only thing or that this is the you know cure-all for all cases not at all but what is remarkable about bone first is that it sets a healing process that is undeniable to the person when they finish even the very first treatment people know something has shifted inside them and people get excited they get aligned they know something is different and um, I think that's you know that's a huge plus for um, you know for the commitment that they need to take to start um, their treatment process so why your patient will benefit from Bowen first first because it's effective it's safe and it's applicable to all ages a lot of my uh, client base is actually in their 70s and um, it's very easy for them to receive this treatment it doesn't you know hurt them they don't have to get fully undressed um, and it doesn't require you know a lot of um, activity or and it causes absolutely no pain to them the other reason is because it's long there, there's long lasting results with it it's painless as I've said it's very relaxing and it's cost effective to your patient so they're not signing up for life or for years um, to receive results why do you benefit from Bowen first well first of all you address the pain people are in so that's huge you also have a safe practice I'm not aware of any uh, malpractice suits against Bowen therapists you offer long-term results which you know is feels wonderful when you're in practice and you get heartfelt and enthusiastic referrals and um, I mean my practice has mostly been referral based and there's nothing like it when people come back saying whatever you did to Sam please do to me it's changed their life so you know it feels wonderful to have that level of support in your practice the cost effectiveness to your patient matters so if they have to pay something you know a treatment and sign up for 30 treatments um, that's a huge cost now of course there's a cost to Bowen first but because it's effective so quickly and because um, patients see the results usually within the first or second treatment I don't mean a cure but clear results um, they know that this is not going to last forever and and they're committed and you can have a thriving sustainable practice doing Bowen and when I get into a little bit more details um, you don't need to see one patient at a time the the method itself requires pauses and periods of integration which means that you can have multiple rooms and put yourself in a zen-like mode as you you know walk from room to room and the patients integrate the the procedures you've done while you're seeing and attending another patient so um, it is definitely a sustainable and <laughs> thriving type of practice and Bowen first is gentle on you the health professional so a lot of um, you know current licensed practices 
have a very limited time period. I think for you know massage therapists, it's seven years where they really have issues with their body and chiropractors have all kinds of issues. Um, this really does not happen with uh, Bowen First Therapy. So why learn Bowen First? First of all, success of treatments. Uh, to say 85% success is, um, is not an overestimation. It manifests results quickly. Five to 10 treatments when you're starting off is you know an, an average and um, for most people that's not many treatments to get massive results it brings true healing not just mere relief of symptoms it's gentle and non-invasive it's suitable for all ages so it can be done safely on infants and also elderly people and it encourages patient commitment, as I discussed earlier. The job is not all yours, and the body does the healing. And you are participating in a relationship of trust. So these are little pictures of the you know, Bowen first moves. And there's five parts to the move, which you'll learn in greater detail shortly. But the first is contact. And contact is really placing your, your fingers or thumbs gently on the skin. And it's a very gentle, almost two-way type of contact. Some people have described it um, the type of contact that you would use if you were to put your own fingers on your eyeballs. In other words, there's a, a feedback. You know you can't press too hard, but you still need to um, connect. So that's the type of contact you have to skin. The other aspect of the contact is that it's as if you had crazy glue or cement between the uh, pads of your fingers or thumbs and the skin. So there's absolutely no sliding in this technique. You're just moving the skin to be able to place it at the appropriate places to do the, the, uh, the rest of the procedure, the challenge. So it's, uh, it's light, it's firm, it's precise, and it's without pressure. So with this contact, one takes the slack, usually it's beside the belly of the muscle. So you start on top of the skin on the belly, but you take the slack to the side of the belly of the muscle, you challenge it, which means you know giving a more firm, um, distinct pressure, and then you roll over the belly of the muscle and then you pause. And the pause is just allowing the fascia to replace itself. So those are the basic five steps to any Bowen first move. Now I realize that this is video, audio, it's certainly not an experience. So you will get to experience this uh, shortly. And it's, um, it's a very um, unique uh, feel and touch. So it's very um, recognizable whether you've done it right or wrong. As soon as you know what feels right, it's very easy to reproduce. The treatment itself is um, it's, it's a physical treatment. It consists of a series of gentle moves on the skin or can be done through light clothing. And the patient is usually lying on a treatment table. A session normally lasts from half an hour to an hour, and the experience frequently results in a deep sense of overall relaxation, despite the severity of the pain the patient presents with. There are integration periods, as I mentioned earlier, that give the body time to actually incorporate 
the information you've put in with the, the specific um, moves. The bone first moves themselves require a great sense of tissue tension recognition, when I was talking about this eyeball pressure, and thus are light, gentle, and very precise. Five treatments is the average number of treatments before seeing maximal results. So again, this does come with experience. Most uh, times, you know, you can tell people when you're starting off, it's between five and 10 treatments. Um, many, many times, you know, it's between two and five that you see um, full results. But again, that does depend a little bit on, on your experience and your comfort. It's a soft, painless, effective touch that triggers the body to remember that it can heal itself. And this often is a good way to explain it to patients like, oh, how does this work? And we'll get into that a little bit further along as well. This auto-regulatory effect results in a rapid elimination or reduction of symptoms followed by an increase in energy and a sense of well-being. Bone First is a holistic therapy that reintegrates the body-mind complex as a whole, allowing for healing to take place in a context. Bone First approach allows the body to reset and heal itself. After the system has been rebooted during treatment, it is the body that takes over and does most of the healing. It's for this reason that there are no general contraindications, essentially rendering the technique useful for a wide range of conditions from acute pain to chronic conditions. This quote um, sort of said it all for me at one point. Um, I still think it does. The art of Bowen is evident in its skillful application, comprehensive understanding of the body's path to healing, and the integrity and intuitive mindfulness of its therapists. So you're probably wondering, what can um, Bowen first treat? So a lot of people see it as a musculoskeletal um, technique, and of course, all kinds of musculoskeletal pain. So frozen shoulder, shoulder pain, I'm just gonna let you read these um, yourself. <laughs> So as you can see, many, many things. Um, there's almost nothing off the top that I would say is not worth um, trying to see if you can help. And also respiratory conditions like um, asthma, you know, bronchitis, hay fever, fantastic for hay fever actually, sinusitis, um, allergies, it really allows the body to reset, as well as digestive conditions. And again, plenty more um, gynecological conditions and general conditions like chronic fatigue, fibromyalgia, Parkinson's, uh, problems with balance, tinnitus, bedwetting, um, very effective for bedwetting, um, hemorrhoids, prostate problems, ear and ear infections. So really all kinds of conditions it can help. So the bone technique was brought to the forefront when a survey on alternative therapies was conducted by, an, by the Australian government in 1975, which is actually not that long ago. So it's a very um, new technique. And it revealed that a person named Tom Bowen was treating approximately 13,000 patients a year. Oops, there we go. <laughs> so his clients reported remarkable outcomes and achieved these results with only two or three sessions per client. In the end, an inquiry that initially appeared as a threat to his practice became a major promotion 
of what came to be named after him, Bowen therapy. So he was um, sort of the, the inventor, and there's many different stories, um, and you can get those uh, different perspectives. I never met him, and he died in, I think, 1986. Um, actually, I think it's, let me see if I'm right on that one. Nope, 1982. And um, so you can read the different reasons that he came up with this and I don't know what the what the bottom line truth is but I know that since the beginning it's been a technique in evolution and he's practiced it um, for 30 years himself and has shared this knowledge with with many people um, that came to observe his work so how does it work and we're going to get into detail here um, but I'll just give you a quick overview so the mechanisms of action, stimulation and rebalancing of the autonomic nervous system, interference with neuromuscular pain loops, stimulate energetic currents in the body, vibrational tuning of the body's energy, joint proprioceptors, spindle cells, Goldy tendon organs, etc. Neural lymphatic points and lymphatic circulation, also affects on the fascia through cell receptors, correlation of many points with um, traditional Chinese medicine and meridian lines, as well as correlation with marma points and nadis, which is um, Ayurvedic medicine. Stimulation of trigger points, balancing of chakras and auric fields, and energetic currents in the body in general. So if we look at each one in a little bit more detail, um, the autonomic nervous system has two branches. The sympathetic branch, which is all about flight, fright, and freeze, and the parasympathetic, which is all about rest, relax, and repair. And self-healing mechanisms of the body are stimulated in the parasympathetic system. And as you guys probably know, most of us are in sympathetic overdrive. So it's really important to have both of these branches in a balanced state. The parasympathetic system is sometimes referred to as the alpha state, where blood pressure, breathing rate, and other vital processes normalize and regenerate. So Bowen first technique appears to clear blocked communication channels within the body and balance the autonomic nervous system. A balanced autonomic nervous system may hold the key to improve the quality of life, mobility, and overall wellness. During a Bowen session, it's very common for patients to go into an enjoyable trance-like state they become deeply relaxed, feel very tired, and or drift off to sleep. These are all very good signs as the body is shifting into a parasympathetic state. You might even hear stomachs gurgle and people drooling. Um, this is really normal um, and you know, <laughs> you can often just uh, make them feel very comfortable about this because they're always surprised how so, such you know specific little touch could have such an impact in many healthy individuals the autonomic nervous system is not balanced and bone college recommends bone first for a tune-up and maintenance program to balance the autonomic nervous system and optimize energies in order that performance can achieve maximum potential so though we will use bone first to treat it is also a fabulous way of um, maintaining and tuning up a person's overall health. So the importance of, um, of uh, autonomic nervous system regulation. So if you look at heart rate variability, studies have shown that heart rate variability is an important indicator of both physiological and behavioral flexibility and reflects an individual's capacity to adapt successfully to stress. Variability within a person's regulatory system is crucial 
for the natural flexibility and adaptability that characterizes health. The normal variability in heart rate is due to the synergetic action of the two branches of the autonomic nervous system. So following a Bowen first treatment, the heart rate variability shows an increase in total energy and a more balanced autonomic nervous system. And I've been uh, in, in my clinic actually um, screening for this with um, uh, bioelectrical equipment and it's um, profound to see the, the changes people receive right after their very first treatment. So the therapeutically induced alpha state, for those who may not know what this is, a, a therapeutically induced alpha state, which is a parasympathetic response, is a natural healing state. So blood pressure, breathing rate, and other vital processes normalize and regenerate. The alpha state is a relaxed yet focused and receptive state. It's what one can call a state of aware relaxation. What are the benefits? Well, this state of consciousness brings numerous advantages. It improves your mental processes, so your concentration, clarity of thinking, decision-making, memory. It calms your body and mind while it maintains alertness. It stimulates imagination, intuition, and higher awareness. It allows you to sleep better, fall asleep easily, stay asleep throughout the night. It lowers levels of cortisol, increases levels of DHEA and melatonin, which slows the aging pro uh, process and improves sleep as well and it increases learning ability, improving memory. So another way that Bowen first works is that it, it's the interference with the neuromuscular pain loops. And to be a bit more familiar with that, the pain loop involves the physical body and the mental emotional body. The symptoms of each reinforce each other actually. The body and mind experience injury and pain as a threat, sending the sympathetic nervous system into this fight or flight or freeze response. Pain signals to immobilize the affected area. So the body tightens, the breath shortens, and a whole mental and physical reaction sets in. I'm sure you know what I'm talking about here. So what happens is that the body is trying to protect itself. What Bowen does is it takes the body out of the pain loop and the body slides into the parasympathetic mode. And of course in parasympathetic mode that's where all the healing takes place. Another mechanism is this vibrational tuning of the body's energy. So Bowen is a series of moves made on precise areas of the body which result in creating specific frequencies within the body. By stimulating the body to create specific harmonic frequencies, Bowen first seems to unlock blocked communication channels within the body and serves to balance the autonomic nervous system. The human body is 70% fluid. So Bowen moves flow or vibrate through the body. The vibration spreads to neighboring muscles, tendons, ligaments, bone and organs, similar to a ripple effect when a stone is thrown into water. And as you know, hydration is essential to health. And with this um, water, we are able to eliminate toxins, the body is able to absorb unnecessary calcifications that it produces to try and protect itself. And also because of water, um, information which is you know bioelectrical in nature is spread through water. 
proprioception. Proprioception means sense of self. Proprioceptors are sensors that provide self with information about joint angle, muscle length, and muscle tension. They detect subtle changes in movement, precision, tension, and force within the body. This information tells us about the position of our limbs in, in space. And I'll go into the um, physiology a little bit more why this is important. So we have spin, muscle spindle cells, which are a type of proprioceptor, in the belly of muscle, which monitors uh, changes in the lengths of muscles or when the muscle is stretched. Muscle spindle cells provide the sensory component of the stretch reflex. The stretch reflex is a muscle contraction in response to stretching within the muscle. Stretch reflex is part of a feedback system of proprioception that is highly important for a sense of body position and for posture maintenance and motor control. When bone moves are carried out on the erector spinae muscles along the spine, um, along the spine, the muscle spindle cells are being stimulated to then stimulate the stretch reflex. So one of the mechanisms by which um, bone first um, could be operating is through this um, stretch reflex and muscle spindle. But as well, it could be through the Golgi um, tendon organs. Golgi tendon organs are another type of proprioceptor in the tendon of the muscles, which monitors, again, changes in the tension of muscles. It provides the sensory component of the Golgi, Golgi tendon reflex. Golgi tendon reflex is the opposite of the stretch reflex. In a Golgi tendon reflex, skeletal muscle contraction causes the agonist muscle to, stimul um, to simultaneously lengthen and relax. The Golgi tendon reflex protects the skeletal muscles from excessively heavy loads by causing the muscle to relax and drop the load. So basically, we operate by, um, by the synergy of these two um, proprioceptors. And when we're in a state of, um, in, in a pain loop, the feedback isn't working very well. And that's why often there's a sense that, um, that we're, we're out of sorts. We're, you know, we're overcompensating and muscles don't know what to do anymore. Joint proprioception is a complex of sensory receptors found in joy, joints that detects the joint motion and joint position. These receptors work in combination with the muscle spindle cells and the Golgi tendon organs. And Bowen moves around the joint stimulates these proprioceptors to support joint normalization and function. And as